What you guys got another video here for you on Windows 10 privacy on how do you turn off Windows 10 data collection. Now quite a few people are concerned because they know that Windows 10 has been collecting data and sending it back to Microsoft for some time now. So well, should you be concerned and what are the options available to you and should you do it? And that's another thing we're going to be talking about in this video. So let's first talk about the uh, the software that you can use to try and remove or debloat windows 10 or disable any sort of telemetry or data collecting on windows 10. now you see me use quite a few of these things over the years and i just wanted to clarify and clear some things up because i think some people uh, do sort of make mistakes and it's going to be on you at the end of the day when you do this to your pc so scripts like these are on github and basically you can download them and they're powershell scripts and if you know nothing about powershell or scripts then don't use these things because they are very destructive and it makes it virtually impossible to go back once you've removed all those features if you look here there's a readme area where most people don't even bother reading because they think they know it all and guess what happens they run this and then it breaks their operating system and then they come back on the comment section and then they start shouting and hollering saying, you broke my PC. No, you broke your PC. There is no undo. I recommend only using these scripts on a fresh installation. You'll hear me mention that in my video and telling you how destructive these can be if not used correctly. Also, bear in mind when you download and run scripts, it's going to remove features that you might need and you go ahead and remove it. And it might be a month before you go ahead and try to use that feature again. And guess what? You're not going to be able to because you've removed it with this script. There's quite a few scripts out there on the market and you can go ahead and check them out. Uh, they're not hard to find. But as I've said, be very, very careful because these are very destructive and they can really sort of rip out a lot of the parts that you might want to use later on down the line or you just might not want it to remove because you don't know how to read a PowerShell script. There is safer options available, which are software, which don't install on the system, but it just allows you to use toggle switches to toggle features on and off. And that's probably going to be the safest option available to you. So these are uh, bits of software here like this, and you will go in here and you'll see this one's called shut up 10 and you can basically uh, toggle these switches on and off you can see here each the, they recommend that you use the settings up the top here which is the actions and apply only recommended settings these are the safer settings which they know works and it's safe to use these there is more recommended and somewhat recommended settings these are more aggressive and you can see here uh, there's some limited area you can read all about this information by clicking on these and it tells you exactly uh, what is happening to the system when you use these now of course if something goes wrong here it will create a system restore point and also it will allow you to toggle these back on it's going to create a restore point every time you mess around with settings inside here when you open the program up so now you can see i can toggle this on and off and same thing for these and you can go ahead and mess with these be very careful because there might be areas which you might need, for instance, like cameras and microphones and other features that you will use on a daily basis, especially if you're a streamer or you're using uh, video content where you're creating audio. If I disable this now, this would disable my audio on the PC and I wouldn't be able to use it. And I would have to physically go in there and enable this feature again. Now, what happens is people use stuff like this. They may have watched a YouTube video at some point, maybe two months ago, three months ago, and they've literally followed that video and they've closed this off. And what's going to happen is when you close this off, you might remove it from your system, clear it out, and forget that you've done those settings. What will happen is you will see something like this in your privacy section here where you'll see some of these settings are hidden or managed by your organization this is pretty common that means that you've made a setting these normally change the settings via the registry and things like that and you would have to go and hunt these out and literally uh, put these back 
to the way they're supposed to be to get this working properly because you can see here this is completely grayed out and you won't be able to touch it now if i wasn't using that software i could toggle this on and off without having this grayed out and having to run into this problem later on down the line these are normally done via like group policy and things like that as well group policy is a piece of software or a part of windows 10 pro and upwards that is built into the operating system and you've seen me use a group policy editor before it's really safe to use because you can revert back by going in here and making changes to this area inside here so when you go in in here and you're looking for a particular area maybe it's windows updates or something like that you can go in here and make changes you can see there is no setting of uh, changed inside here and you can see here improved inking and typing recognition now this hasn't been set inside here but i could literally set this up inside group policy and it will do exactly what that software is doing but i'm not having to use any sort of software and i can always go back in here and i can force reset all of these settings if i wanted to very easily i can import and export these settings and it's much more easier to manage rather than using software and this is what companies would use and it makes it a lot more easier to manage uh, to remove those error messages especially if someone's done that on the pc for you and they haven't told you how to use it you would not know how to revert back and you would normally have to reinstall your operating system so the other option is to literally physically go into here and change these settings yourself and you can change all these yourself i can go into group policy and turn these off and they will look exactly like this with this message and they will be grayed out whereas if you come in here you can toggle this on or off and you don't need to go into group policy long as they're here but there will be hidden and embedded stuff that you can't see here and you will have to use group policy to turn those off or use the registry and or software that you've seen there so it depends on which way you want to go about it but these are the safer methods to do it and stop you running into the issue where you can't do anything with your pc because you're now locked out because of that issue you've got here which is this and i've seen this happen quite a lot now there's quite a few different bits of software here to choose from wpd there's loads of them blackbird is a bit more aggressive uh, but it depends on which one that you're using for your system there's loads of them to choose from just be very careful and mindful when you're using these because they are pretty destructive some of these uh, when you're using them they are going to remove physical parts of it especially these scripts okay now the only way to be 100 percent sure that your data isn't being collected is not to use windows 10 at all and use another choice of operating system now there's also uh, windows 10 Lite versions which you can use which have all of the main uh, components that are related to uh, for instance data collecting which is cortana and other things like that they've been stripped out of the operating system it's not advisable to use these because obviously uh, they're probably not going to be recognized as legitimate by uh, microsoft it's going to have all the main gubbins ripped out of it and really you don't want to be using those unless you've created these yourself now there is some like this and there's loads of other ones out there there's even people on youtube showing you how to do it and allowing you to download their iso i really wouldn't use any of those because you really don't know what's been embedded into that you're really li literally taking it apart and putting it back together again and you've got no clue of what's been embedded inside there and once you've installed it there could be back doors put in there to allow people to come into your computer and things like that so be very careful when using windows 10 Lite versions you see on the internet also tinkering with windows 10 registry is not going to make your pc much faster than uh, it's all a placebo really when people say you get an extra 10 frames i mean if you want more frames go and buy a bigger better graphics card it's that simple anyway i think that's going to be about it for this video i just want to say a big special thanks to all my youtube members i really do appreciate the support uh, my name has been brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk whatever method you choose uh, just be very careful so you don't mess up your system because you will have to end up doing a fresh install if you do mess it up anyway thanks again have a great weekend bye for now